Hi, everyone. I'm Rusty Dunn with Caterpillar's Corporate Archives Manager, Lee Fosberg. Lee, we're doing it one more time this year, digging into history. Thanks for being here. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm doing well. The door's open, Rusty. Excellent. We've got a great episode today. Caterpillar, likely more than any other manufacturer out there, Lee, is associated with a single color, <laughs> yellow, of course. And what we're going to learn uh, in today's Digging Into History episode, I think, is that that's not always been the case. It's been a colorful journey to get us to yellow. So let's talk about that. But the story starts pre-Caterpillar. It does, Rusty. And you know what? It, it starts with, I guess you would say, a lot of colors right across the rainbow. So, you know, as we've said on many of our, our Digging Histories, right, Caterpillar was formed fought by two companies, the Holtz and the Bass. They used colors anywhere from kind of uh, browns to grays, you know, even to reds, and, and one of my favorites, like black and uh, gold. So um, it kind of, you're, you wonder, how did this bring us right to, you know, Caterpillar yellow or highway yellow? And, you know, that's, that's just part of the journey, but it's DNA goes all, all the way back to Holt and Bass. And even with the demonstrations, uh, when they're taking tractors, dozers out there to for the public to see and to try to sell, it was black. Was it black and white? As I understand it, some well, of the you know, we just like we demonstrate our products today, right at at the Edwards demonstration at area and other demonstrations across the world. You know, Colt and Best demonstrated these tractors to customers. So what they would do is they would add a little bit special, right? And it was very common they would repaint them white, um, and and these things would go across the you know what were mainly the fields because these were agricultural products. But it, it made it a little bit special, and you might be like, you know what, I might go out and buy that thing. Yeah, that's interesting. So you had uh, white, black, red, green, no yellow yet. But for all of you Caterpillar trivia experts out there, I want to throw a name at you. Ollie Sleeter. Lee, I guarantee you not very many people know the name Ollie Sleeter. Fill them in at the, for part of this story. Well, absolutely. Well, so Ollie Sleeter, longtime Caterpillar employee, goes actually back to the Holt Manufacturing uh, Company that, you know, first, you know, cre created the name Caterpillar. Um, but he, in 1910, actually painted the first Holt Caterpillar tractor to come off the assembly line in Peoria, Illinois. So he knew a little bit about paint, right? He, he worked on these things for many years, even becoming Caterpillar. But the first machines, he actually, they painted them by hand, if you can believe that. And then they would stencil in with the paint, you know, the name of Holt Manufacturing, in the name Caterpillar. And they could do this because you gotta remember, even so this was an assembly line, Rusty, I think in 1910, we only had a little over 10 machines that were manufactured. So you know, time was on your side a little bit. Does, so where did he, where did Ollie figure into as part of this evolution to get toward the consideration of, of the yellow color? Well, right, well, so right, you had the merger and the idea was like, what paint do we select? And they kind of went with a gray paint that was very similar to the Holt gray paint at that time, because Holt, again, made the name Caterpillar. Um, but part of what was going on here, Rusty, is those machines were mainly for agricultural purposes, but you really had a revolution going on towards our machines going towards earth moving and actually going from farm fields to the side of the road to making highways. So, you know, you know how safety is, right? Built into our culture. Well, the paint, paint played a part in this. Yeah, so what's the, the color that pops? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you had a gray tractor in the field, right? No one's gonna run into that, but they might on the side of a road, mostly at night. So the company looked at a bunch of different colors and Ollie Sleater was part of this. And they looked at like, they looked at whites, um, they looked at like a red, I believe, but they ended up settling on what they called Highway Yellow. And that name, right, Highway, that kind of lets you into this story. So that takes us to an historic date, December 7th, 
1931. It was a Monday, not that that matters. But Lee, this is when Highway Yellow really became official. Explain that. Yeah, well, one is right. This was a day that lived in Caterpillar infamy, right? Um, and what happened was we came, they changed the, the color and the, there was like, you know, it was kind of distributed to dealers that were going with this highway yellow. Um, you know, rarely in history, right, we get an exact date or know an exact date when this happened, but we have it from the memo. But you know, what we also know is too, you know, people love our color today, right? Well, at first, like all change, a lot of people were like, well, how can you change this from right. gray to yellow, right? <laughs> and a lot of the dealers were like, we're just going to pay and keep on painting them gray, right? And Caterpillar's <laughs> like, well, fine, you can do that, but right, the cost goes back to you. Um, but, you know, over time, it very quickly turned to the highway yellow that we know. One quick note regarding Caterpillar engines, Lee, not the machine, the engines, those were launched after 1931, the Cat Diesel engines. Yeah. But those have always been yellow, yes or no? Believe it or not, for a very short time period, they really, from like the late 30s to the early 40s, they would differentiate like gen sets from like marine engines, but the gen sets were actually painted a sort of a, a grayish blue with a gold trim, you know, and this kind of like was something we've rediscovered, but it kind of got lost to history, right? Because it was such a narrow time period. Well, that's interesting. All right, so let's fast forward through the decades here, Lee. Getting us into the modern era, era specifically, let's go to the year 1979. Talk about why that's so important. Well, that was the birth of what we call cat yellow today, right? And there were changes in, everyone asked me why did this change from highway yellow to caterpillar yellow, and which was just the color changed just a little bit, not real significantly. And it was really because you had changes in paint standards like related to you know lead paint. And so the company made the change as others were in the industry, and that's the color we have today. A lot of people ask me, they'll say, well, why can these companies have a yellow? But you know, it's really the recipe, right? That, that's ours that makes it, it's the, the shade that makes it special. And you can tell, right? When you see these, you go through a job site and you might see other machines, you know it's cat. Wow, so the 90th anniversary of uh, of the uh, of the yellow this year. That's right. What a, what a great milestone from, from gray to highway yellow to now to caterpillar yellow. It's fascinating how uh, that evolution took, took place. So, Color me impressed, Lee. You always bring something new to the table. We appreciate that when you're sharing the company's history. Thanks for putting up with me this year, but we've had some great episodes. Um, I hope we can do it again here soon. Yeah, I look forward to telling stories again in 2022. Absolutely. Take care, Lee. And thanks to all of you for watching. Go out there, be safe, stay healthy. We'll see you soon.